Now let's have a look at the main drivers for a restaurant chain. So we start with an average one restaurant. So we would be looking at the number of guests that on average such a restaurant would have and also how much an average guest would purchase, uh, how much he would spend in the restaurant. This would give us the average revenue per restaurant. Obviously here we mean one guest, one visit. Now, when we look at the, the purchase he's doing the visit, it will consist of, first of all, the average purchase of the basic things he came to buy, and then additional things we managed to convince him to buy. Then when we look at the number of guests, we would look first for the number of available seats per day, so how many guests we can actually fit in during the day, and obviously the utilization. Now, we have to go to the average gross margin per restaurant. So here we would be looking at the percentage gross margin on food and drinks. And if we deduct the costs, we would get the average EBIT per one restaurant. When it comes to the costs we should be looking at on the level of the restaurant, we obviously have people, rent and others. When it comes to people, they're just two drivers, so number of people we've got and then the average wages. Since you have a lot of part-time workers, you would have to look at the full-time equivalent. So assuming that a person is working, let's say, 170 hours per month. And rent is just the number of square meters and fee per one square meter, so how much rent we pay per one square meter. Once we are done with the average EBITDA per restaurant, we can model the whole chain. So here the drivers would be the number of restaurants we've got and obviously the average EBITDA. This will generate the EBITDA on restaurant level. In order to get to the EBITDA on the company level, we have to obviously deduct the cost of head office. And here we have usually two very important items, so people and rent, and the rest is just others. In some cases, it makes sense to divide others into other smaller cost positions. So for example, it might be leasing of machines we bought for the restaurants and also the furniture. And an another important cost item would be cost of sales and marketing. So here we would mean all the fees we have to pay to third parties and also the money we spend on marketing. But assuming here that we just have rent and people, we would have the following drivers. So for people, again, we would have number of people and average wages. And for rent, obviously, the number of square meters and the rent per square meter. So we have defined the drivers on the level of the whole chain. And now let's see what kind of KPIs will attach to each and every driver.